I noticed this this last night just as I was getting ready to turn out the lights and go upstairs that this eye here I'll show you this eye is about an eighth of an inch deeper into the face than this eye and I didn't notice that until last night so I'm going to be cutting that out and mo moving it forward I hope I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do that all night and uh, uh love it all right be right back time to play with some play all right i've got to get my magnifiers on before i start this I gotta figure out the best way to do this without ruining all the work I did on that eye. That whole cheek is behind the other cheek too, I think. Well, I put a new blade into my exacto knife and uh gonna heat it up in a flame i'll be right back i think i'll make it this incision above the eye i got another problem there's a foam skull behind this so it's going to make it difficult to do this Time to check the depth of the eye. I pried the eye forward with my exacto knife. Okay, that's on the button right there. All right, now I got to fill in underneath the eye. I got to have it tilted to just right. That looks about right. Never be afraid to change things if it's not right. It's got to be right or it hits people unconsciously that something is wrong there. for now that's good Whoop.
gonna take some more clay back there. This close going to the foundry is a, it's a little nerve wracking. There, I got a solid background behind the eye. Now, Birds are just a singing outside. It's it's restful to hear that when you're doing something stressful. The wind isn't blowing, so I could keep the window open. If you do something like this, you just got to be very gentle, don't make any sudden moves. Got to put just a little clay up there. If I'm not careful at this point, I can screw it up still. The idea is not to screw it up. I hear a rooster way off in the distance. <laughs> the sun is shining. It's cloudy. The sun is shining. What I'm trying to do is get something behind the cut of the eye to stabilize it. Okay, his eyebrow needs to come up a little bit or out a little bit. I 
I just stood up and looked down at the uh, forehead and the only thing I could see that was not quite right was the uh, eyebrow above the, the eye. It was behind the eyebrow of this side. My bad. <clears throat> I forgot to uh, turn on the cameras. I had them on, but I didn't have them recording. And uh, I apologize. I put an end, uh, I extended the end of this uh, staff. What I did was I put, put a piece of fondue stick into a hole that I drilled into the end of the uh, stick that it acts as a staff. And it's only because I... <clears throat> the staff actually ended right there and it looked a little off balance now it looks more balanced and so I just added clay to uh, this end of the uh, staff and uh, I think it looks a lot better now it looks balanced so I'll come back tomorrow and hopefully finish up this clay I want to work on his foot a little bit um, and add uh, texturing to his robe here and uh, finalize the texturing on the uh, rest of the robe to match the uh, texturing I've been putting in to it and also to work on this sleeve but I'm going to call it quits for tonight and uh, there's just so much stress I can take working on a piece, and that's moving that eyeball was stressful. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody, and have a great night, and be safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and enjoy being home with your family. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.